In today's video, we're going to be looking at the differences between the Great Dane and the English Cocker Spaniel. Welcome back to the Fenrir Great Dane Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Great Dane. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Great Dane video. So then let's Let's get into today's video where we'll be exploring all the differences between the Great Dane and the English Cocker Spaniel. Let's start by looking into their history. Let's begin with the Great Dane. There are records of drawings that bear a resemblance to those dogs dating back to Egyptian times around 3000 BC. It's thought that the breed was taken across the globe by the Assyrians who used the dog in trade deals with the Greeks and Romans. The Greeks and Romans then bred these dogs with others like the ancestral Mastiff and the Irish Wolfhound, but it was the Germans that refined the breed into the elegant, well-balanced dog we know today. Throughout the late 1800s, the aggression was bred out of the former hunting dogs, giving way to a gentle giant that's still loved today. Now, the Spaniel's one of the oldest classifications of working dog, up there with pointers, setters and retrievers. So prior to the 1600s, all Spaniels were categorised together and were used for different tasks depending on their size. Larger ones used for hunting and springing game and the smaller ones to flush. This created the Springer and Cocker divide. The dogs were used to push out prey out of hiding so the humans could effectively catch the prey. The 1800s saw yet another divide of toy and hunting dogs, and then hunting was further split into land and water. The English cocker prevailed into the land category, excelling at the field of flushing. But still, the breed wasn't fully recognised until the 19th century, where the popularity grew with the people of Victorian England. And then in the early 20th century, American breeders took this little working dog and created a smaller companion animal. Whereas here in England, we kept them true to their hunting heritage. The England and American Cocker are recognised as separate breeds. The Great Dane is an unmistakable breed. They have a regal appearance, are dignified and strong. They're one of the tallest breeds and males can get up to 32 inches at the shoulder and weigh up to 90 kilograms. Females up to 28 inches and weigh up to 70 kilograms. A lot of breeds will be similar in physique across males and females, but with a Great Dane male will be noticeably larger and have a heavier frame. Everything about the Great Dane is regal and defined and they have a rectangular expressive head and should have natural relaxed ears. The neck is held high and muscular and should gradually broaden smoothly into their shoulders. Their chest is broad and deep with well sprung ribs which are tightly muscled, giving them an overall neat look. Now there's a lot of variety in colours of coat, not quite as many as the Cocker though. The American Kennel Club recognises brindle form, blue, black, harlequin, mantle and mill, and the coat is short and smooth and should have a glossy finish. Hey guys, just a really quick message to ask you, are you on TikTok? And if you are on TikTok, I think you'd really enjoy coming and checking out our Fenrir page over on TikTok. There'll be a link in the description box below. Don't worry, you're not going to see me dancing, but I promise you there's tons of extremely valuable, helpful content of me working with dogs and providing as much information and helpful, valuable tips and tricks along the way to help you become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you are interested, I can't wait to see you over on TikTok, but in the meantime, I'll let you get back to the video you were watching. The English Cocker is a merry, active, sporting dog, standing proud yet compact. Males reach up to 17 inches at the shoulder and females up to 16 inches, and their weight can be between 28 to 34 pounds for males and 26 to 32 for females. Emails. They have soft, alert and intelligent expressions. Their eyes convey a lot of emotion. Impressively long ears that are covered in a stunning feathering of fur. The body starts with a graceful, muscular neck that blends into sloping shoulders. The back is ever so slightly sloped to leading to robust legs with muscular thighs and a commonly docked tail. There are 23 registered coat colours, literally any variant you could think of and there will be a spaniel in that colour. The fur is fine and soft and famously feathered on the ears, chest, underbelly and legs. 
The Great Dane is a docile dog, very happy to go for leisurely strolls with their owners as they've been refined into companion animals rather than highly driven working dogs. They are of average intelligence, so they'll do well with regular commands such as sit, stay, recall, etc. The thing you should be wary of is that they don't always know their size, so you'll want to be able to control them indoors. Giving them a command that instantly gets their attention, even when they're engaged in rambunctious play, will save many accidents from happening. Due to their working history, the cocker is an extremely intelligent and is eager to learn. Whether you work them or not, they'll love to be out in the field with you, sniffing about anything and everything they can find. Be wary of their prey drive and urge to chase small creatures though. Whilst they are a small spaniel, they are wickedly fast when something interesting catches their eye. But consistent positive training, especially on recall, will take quickly with a cocker and they have an eager mind and love to use it. It's no surprise when I tell you that the Great Dane is known as the Gentle Giant. This is the allure of having a dog as big or even bigger than yourself. They make beautiful additions to the family. Their peaceful disposition and relentless attempts at being a lap dog will just make them a joy to be around. Who could have a bad day when your 60 kilogram Great Dane is desperate to share your spot on the sofa? They're very people orientated and will even go as far as to defending your home and family should they feel the need to. And that will be the few times they'll bark. They don't tend to bark for the sake of it, but you can expect them to be vocal with sassy back chat by grumbling, which will come from a good nature place, I promise. A common word used to describe the English cocker is merry, and you'll only need to meet one to realise why. The way they hold themselves and interact with people and other dogs does have a certain merriness. Along with this affection and playful nature, they have that history of working, yes, but the smaller size made them popular companion animals too. Whilst they can be wary and reserved with strangers, they'll love nothing more than time and love from their owners. Do know that they are very good watchdogs and will use their voice to alert you of people approaching your house. Training may be able to keep the barking to a minimum, but that all depends on your lifestyle and if you like a warning before visitors arrive. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of The Great Dane Show.